For many of us, the gradual easing of lockdown brings longed for opportunities, even at a social distance, to see friends, play sports, resume contact with family, or to get back to the work that we value. But for many of us, even the happy, much anticipated changes can be difficult for our mental health. This may especially apply to those more vulnerable to the virus and those of us with mental health concerns. What are the mental health challenges and how can we support ourselves and our families as we come out of lockdown? I'm Pete Cann, The Laughter Man, and I'm a qualified laughter coach. And since discovering the power of laughter to help improve health, wealth and mental well-being, I've been on a mission to discover ways to help people who are struggling in their day-to-day -day life. There looks like there's light at the end of the COVID tunnel, but the mental health impact is likely to stay with us a while longer, even after each and every one of us has been vaccinated. As someone with a young family, I wanted to look at ways I could support my family as we move out of lockdown and try and pick up our normal lives. On with the video. Finding a way to pull ourselves through lockdown took a lot of our emotional energy and we may have found a place that lets us cope and we don't want to leave behind just yet. For many of us, the pandemic has increased our anxiety and made our existing mental health issues worse. It may take longer to adjust to necessary changes that we're gonna to have to put up with over the next weeks and months. If possible, take things at your own pace but try and challenge yourself to try something different each day or every couple of days. Celebrate small wins and big wins and try and keep a note of what you're achieving. Let me know any of your small or big wins in the comments below. So coming up, I've got some tips on how to help your family cope with fear and anxiety. So number one, control what can be controlled. There are a lot of things you can't control that causes you fear and anxiety, but there are some things you can manage or plan for. Having an action plan for managing things you might find difficult can help. Number two, pace yourself. Recognising that you need to go at the right pace for you is important. Don't let others bully or pressure you into doing things you don't want to. It can be hard to let others move forward without you. Maybe your child wants to see friends or needs to return to work, but you can't. It's important to discuss concerns with those close to you, but also to allow other people space to move at their own pace. Number three, build up tolerance. Try doing something that challenges you every day or every few days. Don't beat yourself up if it doesn't go well, but keep at it. Number four, vary your routines. Try and vary your routines so that you see different people and encounter different situations. If one supermarket makes you nervous, try another. If a walk at one time of the day is very busy, try mixing walks at busy times with walks at quieter times. Number five, talk to work. Many workplaces are allowing more flexible working, even if people need to return. If you're worried about returning to work, speak to your manager and let them know how you're feeling. Hopefully some of these tips might help you and your family deal with life as we move out of lockdown. If you found anything so far interesting and helpful, why not think about subscribing to my channel? I'm adding new content as often as I can and I think you'll find a lot of tips and advice to help you lead a happy and fulfilled life. Okay, so the final part of the video is about looking after your children and family. And let's crack on. For parents and carers returning to work, it's likely to provide a distance that might be much welcomed and needed, but also provide emotionally challenging when family closeness has been such a support to so many during lockdown. With schools returning, parents might be breathing a sigh of relief that they no longer have to cope with helping with schoolwork, but children might be feeling that the comfort blanket of your love and support is being removed and returning to a place that until recently was somewhere that they were kept away from may make them feel anxious. Also parents who have become used to their ever-present children may feel something missing from their lives and also bound to feel worried about how their children will cope with the return to school. Reassure your family that the closeness you have formed during lockdown is not suddenly going to evaporate overnight, that you'll be there for each other whenever help or support is needed. Okay, so there you have it. Some of my advice on dealing with mental health issues for your family as we begin to return on how things used to be. I hope you found some of this helpful. And remember, if Pete can, you can. <laughs>